where do you live at now, man? It's why do you keep asking me these questions? I, I don't understand. Calls. Yeah, well, well, calls are not. I'm not doing anything wrong. So you're 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 actually harassing me. I'm not harassing. You are harassing me. I'm not harassing. Yeah, because I I'm just sitting in my car, and if this is a free country, which it is, I I'm allowed to do this right here. Welcome back, everyone. Let's not waste no time. Let's get right to the video. This guy reached out to me via email. He is getting harassed by the local sheriff's department, and they think because he doesn't have a lot of subscribers, they can turn up the heat and intimidate him. I think it's time we let that department know that he has the backing of the people. Watch this video, go subscribe to his channel, and check out how his department has been treating him like utter crap. And remember folks, record police now. If you have any videos that you want us to look at, send it to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. We'll take a look at it for you. All right, folks, here's your video. What's up? How you doing, man? All right. What's your name? What's your name? Huh? What's your name? Zach Stoll. Zach Stoll. Mm -hmm. Are you Lawrence? Yeah. Okay, bud. Well, you, you... You're not in trouble or anything. Oh, I, I know. I know. I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. What's that? I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. Where were you evicted from? Where was I evicted from? Yeah. I, I, I heard you were evicted from the house yesterday at 5550, right? <laughs> That's possible. That's possible. Yeah. Why are you asking me these questions? Because I've gotten several calls on you today driving through the neighborhood and harassing the neighbors around here. Harassing neighbors? Yeah. Well, I've got it all on video the whole time I've been here, so that's that's totally not okay, true. Yes, that's totally fine, okay? Okay. I'm literally here to just talk to you to figure sort, sort stuff out, okay? Okay. Make sure that nothing's going on, right? Sure. You know that you're not allowed back at 5550, correct? I'm not there. And and no, I, I'm not allowed on the property, but exactly. yeah. So I'm telling you. We get calls that you're back on the property, okay? Okay. I'm here to tell you that if you're back on that property, you'll be trespassed and taken to jail. Yeah, I've already you're been told that. To be there, right? Yeah. So what are you doing in the neighborhood? Let me just ask I'm you just that. sitting here. Okay, why, why are you sitting here? Because I can. It's a free country, and this is what I want to do. Okay. Where do you live at now, man? It's Why do you keep asking me these questions? I, I don't understand. Calls. Yeah, well, well, calls are not. I'm not doing anything wrong. So you're, you're, you're actually harassing me. I'm not harassing you. You are harassing me. Yeah, because I, I'm just sitting in my car, and if this is a free country, which it is, I, I'm allowed to do this right here okay. without having you come over here and asking me a bunch of personal okay. questions so that you just you shouldn't be doing. Where is he? Dude, just tell, come on, dude. I'm just I'm being cool with you, right? And this is the part where I think a lot of people get it confused. Just because the officer is being nice, that doesn't mean that the man has to comply. The man has rights. The officer, in my opinion, does not know what he's doing. Violating people's rights is not doing your job. You cannot ask this man to leave the area just because other people have some type of feelings. I always try to point this out, folks. The police officers, when they don't know the First Amendment of the Constitution, when they don't know that you have rights, they will accidentally and sometimes purposely violate them. I'm being cool with you, right? N no, you're not. Oh, no, no, you're not because you're harassing me, and that's not cool, man. You know, I'm just sitting in my car with the air conditioner on. All right. As long as you're not on that property. I'm not on the property, bro. I'm not trying to get arrested, dude. Okay. You know, jail sucks. I'm just wondering why you're hanging around the neighborhood. You're creating bigger issues than I, you I, need to. Well, if you just but it, 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 if I, how is that? How is if that? If you just left the area, we would have no calls on you at all. Whoa. Let me get this shit straight. So, he's upset that they're getting calls. Does he have to answer the damn phone? And what the hell is dispatch's problem anyways that they can't tell the people that are calling, hey, if he's not breaking any damn law, leave him the hell alone. What kind of backwards ass policing is this? And there would be no issue. You keep coming back to this neighborhood for some reason. It's like you want to start issues. You want to start these problems. You want us to come out here. That's why you're I, I, No, I'm videotaping because I don't trust cops and I don't I'm trust what's, I'm what's going on here, man. You, man. I'm here to solve a problem. These neighbor has an issue with you being here. Okay. They're worried that well, you're going to go onto the property. Well, it's not even their property to even worry about. So why are they calling worrying about it? I don't understand, dude. Why else would you be out here? Why else would you To go on there, that property isn't it. Okay. Well, you have no reason to be out here, dude. Yeah, I do. What's the reason? I could give 101 reasons why I would be sitting out there. But this guy gives the perfect answer. Because it's a free country. So and if this isn't right Nazi Germany, right I have the right to sit right here, man, yes. without being harassed. Okay, so you're going to sit right down here, right across from where everybody's telling you to leave from. Why are they telling me to leave? What have I done? You're creating issues by driving back and forth, man. 
I'm gonna tell you. All right. Well, I, I don't. I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate you harassing right. me and telling me that. Dude. Quick, hey. Do you have a? You have a card? Yeah, I do. Can I get one when you're done? Yeah, absolutely. That'd be cool, man. And you're supposed to, I said that would be cool. And you're supposed to actually identify yourself with your badge number did. too. As soon as you came up, you asked me who I was. Yeah, but you failed to give me your badge number and that's my not badge proper. My 232. 232. Okay, thank 232, you. 232, my name is Deputy Zach Stoll. Thank you. I haven't okay. seen you be here be here before. You knew? What's that? I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, I'm new to this area. Oh, you are? Okay. It's cool. Good place to work. Here, yeah, go for it. It's a good place to be an officer, man. It is. I know. I grew up here. Been here like 30 years. Okay. Like I said, dude, I don't know you. You don't know me, right? Yeah, for I'm sure. Trying to get to know you. Like for sure. Said, dude, I'm trying to get to solve a problem here. That's all yeah, I'm here for. Yeah, I understand. I understand you're doing your job, man. Okay, can I just ask you to leave the neighborhood so we stop getting calls? Well, you know, no. If I did that, I'd be giving up my rights. Can I just ask you to leave the area? The man answers again perfectly. If I do that, I'd be giving up my rights. I'm gonna break something down really quick, guys. That you may have never heard. It's called presumed authority. This officer right now, what he thinks he has is presumed authority. If this man sitting in the vehicle would not have stopped him right away, if he didn't know his rights, if he wasn't recording, it's possible that this deputy could have turned that presumed authority into unbridled power. That's when things get ugly, folks. When officers think that they have unbridled power, bad things happen. You can either just take a quick ride to jail, be out the next day, or it's possible that cops can club you to death and even get away with it. Why do these things happen, folks? Because presumed authority turns into unbridled power if it goes unchecked. With that being said, with that being said, go subscribe to this guy's channel. Let him know San Joaquin News Network sent you. Let's bring the court of public opinion over there. Show that department they can't be going around harassing people. All right, folks, have a blessed day. Subscribe to my channel as well and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. All right, guys, I'll see you manana. Peace. What is a First Amendment audit? A First Amendment audit is an exercise right of the people to film public officials and police from publicly accessible areas. There are five freedoms of the First Amendment. Religion, assembly, speech, petition, and press. A First Amendment audit is designed to exercise your freedom of press. The purpose of a First Amendment audit is to bring transparency to the public about where your tax dollars go and what they pay for. Also to bring accountability when officer or employee misconduct is documented. There are many paid organizations that will try to persuade you otherwise, stating that auditors only do what they do to get a reaction from public workers. This is not true though. If accountability was done correctly on the government's part, First Amendment audits wouldn't even be a phenomenon. But because of policies like qualified immunity that allow officer misconduct to be protected and swept under the rug, and failed implemented tactics like internal investigations that usually side with officers when the people's rights are violated. It has unfortunately come to the point where we the people have to take it upon ourselves to hold the police and government employees accountable.